What happened to that person that took your virginity? Where are they in life? She killed herself 13 years ago. She was a great person. He died in a car accident about 15 years ago. I found out when I was cyber stalking people from my past and found his obituary. It was quite sad finding that out. Just wasn't the expected outcome of that particular internet search. I saw her at a parade a while back. She had a couple of kids and looked rougher than I remembered. Meth'll do that. That's pretty methed up man. She's an attorney. She gave me some advice when I wanted to adopt a few years ago. Sweet girl. And still gorgeous 20 something years later. She joined the circus. In an administrative capacity. But it's less fun to say that way. Probably still in the graveyard. Probably? Man. Haven't seen her since she moved out and divorced me 5 years ago. I honestly have no idea what she's up to. But I actually hope she's found help for her mental illnesses and is generally happy. But she can stay wherever she is. I don't need to see her again. She became an herbalist out west and died a few years ago. My third GF died also and my first wife. I have a kind of large pile of corpses of people I've loved for somebody who's 63 years old and doesn't murder people. Figuratively. Comma doesn't murder people. She married some military dude. And had a hard life. Last I found her on Facebook she was promoting a GoFundMe so she could get new teeth. Had recently lost everything in a house fire. Has a couple of kids. Eater. I'm not entirely sure of her husband's military involvement. The pictures I saw could have been taken at a Halloween party for all I know. It makes sense though that a military spouse should not have to crowdfund a set of chompers. Also. She didn't lose her teeth in a fire. I'm pretty sure the tooth loss was a much more gradual process. Cheated on me. Got fat. Had a kid. Cheated on that guy. Had another kid. Cheated on that guy. And now lives in her mom's basement. Sitting next to me eating spaghettios out of a Pyrex bowl. Not because of a lack of better food or bowls. But because he like it and the Pyrex is the biggest glass bowl. He passed away at 19 after suffering a seizure in his sleep. We'd broken up about 6 months before. It's been 10 years. But every once in a while I still wonder who he'd be today. Single mom. 30 years old. With two kids. She seems like she's a terrific mom and tries the best she can with limited resources. Thanks for the memories. Olivia. And good luck. Edit. Na- Those kids ain't mine. I haven't seen her in almost 20 years. But apparently everyone still thinks she's a bitch. I ran into her on the street not too long ago. She's engaged and seems to be doing well otherwise too. Still drop dead gorgeous as well. Edit. I just looked her up on Facebook because of this thread. It seems she's unfriended me. Now I'm kinda sad. Edit too. For people trying to console me. We broke up like 14 years ago. This isn't a recent breakup and she's not still in love with me or anything. But I know we were friends until pretty recently. Because sometimes I saw her posts. She's now my stepsister. Probably still taking hundreds of people's virginity. Gave birth to my half brother. Whoa that's rough to have the girl snatched by your own dad. She married the next guy she dated. Had two kids and moved to Boston. He cheated on her with another dude and left her recently. In jail for child abuse and recording it. Sick bastard. Dead. Duck cancer. We did have an almost 25 year run though. Edit. Thank you for the warm wishes. I lost her too. Five years ago. Come Tuesday. And our children and I are doing much better. Interestingly I just noticed the date and realized that first time was 25 years ago last week. She's got three kids and is doing terribly. This is the way. He is now an obegin. Sometimes it makes me laugh that he sees dozens of veginas a day. 
But mine was the first. That influence. We are still decent friends for the last 19 years. She recently got married to a very nice guy and they have good careers in tech. I am very happy for them. I was 12. And she was 13. She got pregnant. I heard a 26 year old took responsibility. Apparently she was having sex with anyone willing because she wanted a baby. I never saw her again. I was never really sure it wasn't mine. No idea what happened. I'm in my 40s. I think about her sometimes. I can't imagine her life went well. Last I heard he was in a jail for s or a sort of a minor. They are always at the yearly family reunion. She married a dude with a chin strap. She should know that reflects poorly on both her and me. We took each other's virginity about 20 years ago. She's a psychologist now. Has her own practice. Lives in SC. Still looks amazing. Still does gymnastics. Married. Has two kids. We still talk once a year or so and are still friends after all these years. I see her almost every day. She's my wife after all. He's married but he's only been faithful to her for 2 years of their 6 year marriage. So. Oh they are doing great. He has 3 kids and they all share his features in some way. He's still kinda childish but he tries so I'll give him some credit. He's also my husband and drives me ducking bonkers. Last I heard. He had started a GoFundMe for his third divorce. Not judging divorce. I have one of those under my belt. But a GoFundMe? Really? And yes. I looked it up. It was. Just very weird. She was killed in self defense after coming after her girlfriend with a knife. I read that wrong like 3 different times. It's very sad really. He's married to me. He's downstairs playing video games and watching over our newborn twins while I take a bath. I have no clue. But I hope he was able to move on as I have. We both spent years mourning the loss of the relationship. I'm good now and I hope he is too. I'm pretty sure she is somewhere in this world living her own life. But I haven't found her yet. Well of course I know him. He's sleeping while I read it. He's still my best friend and husband. Edit. it. Thanks for the silver. It's my first award. Edit 2. Wow gold. Thank you. I don't know. We remained on good terms but she moved away and... At some time after I started seeing my now wife. She deleted me from Facebook. No idea why. I only realized when my wife and I were talking about exes and I looked her up to see how she was doing and saw we weren't friends on FB anymore. Last I heard. She was balancing pursuing a nursing degree and being a mum. She had a child from a previous relationship. Best of luck to her. I've no particular desire to get back in touch but I hope she's doing well. I don't even think I'd recognize her if I saw her. I don't remember her name either. Does that make me a bad person? Probably dead. I lost my virginity to a heroin addict for $40. I don't even know her name. I lost mine for $300. You got a good bargain. He's going bald and growing a beard. Dating a girl who he's willing to do things for that he wouldn't do for me. He doesn't text me all depressingly at Christmas anymore. So I think he finally moved on dead for years now she's dating someone else now ironically i was kind of mean to her in elementary school and then we lost contact and met up during high school i actually took her to her prom they're doing good right now they are reading a book with a tv on laying here next to me 26 years later not wanting to have sx tonight edit Bro, that went off the rails fast she did finally give an BTW. And no. This wasn't our dead bedrooms thing. Add it to the spreadsheet. Still with them. They refuse to give it back. Mum says it's my turn to have the virginity. Next to me in bed. 
So yesterday was the big day then? Currently on the phone with her because she ran over a cat. According to her just completed Facebook search dating a bald redneck guy 10-20 years older than her and sharing 30 inspirational Facebook posts a day. Still being a good husband to my mom. Edit 1. Thanks for the reactions with gold silver and platinum. And I wish I could give a story. But I'm also glad there is no story. But this was just a joke comment. Don't know. Don't care. Happily married. Has two but ugly kids even though she's still really hot. And she's running a fairly successful sweets catering service. Contacted me once when she had a big fight with her husband. I'm not a doorknob so I knew something was up. She was trying to affirm her femininity by pulling compliments out of me. I was over her by this point, years passed, but I offered her to be a friend and chat from time to time. Got ghosted two days later. And a common friend was asked to tell me not to contact her anymore. I said that's a pretty shtty attitude and later went out for a beer with that friend. She is my roommate and she has an amazing boyfriend. Oh. This has so much potential to go wrong. He is pretending to be all zen living shoeless in the countryside. He was an abusive R that broke my car's windshield once when he was angry. I was inside the car and left bruises all over my arms while he violently shook me against a wall another time. Among some of my finest memories of this fellow. The day after we went to a bar and a girl teased me about my bruises looking like fingerprints. I felt dead inside at that moment. It took a while but eventually I learned better and broke up. He also cheated at me a few times. It was an enlightening experience that led me to choose a great partner to spend my life with. But he was a real piece of work. Addicted to meth. Baby with unknown father subsequently taken by the state. He's head of growth at a software company and will probably marry his current girlfriend. We caught up last year for the first time in years. He was just as kind as I remember but he no longer drinks. He used to be a massive party animal so I was pretty glad to see he had sobered up. My wife I. She is married to a man who is older than her father. With a daughter from another man, I am not privy to who when. But it's obvious from the kid's complexion that current husband is not dad. I hope she's happy but I'm glad we broke up when we did. He died in a snowmobile accident in 1999. Bold of you to assume I lost my virginity. He became a professional skateboarder. He was a skater boy. Who boy? She is about 300 pounds. Really unhealthy. Working part time at a Tim Hortons. Has had no friendships or relationships in at least 3 decades. And is constantly begging for shti on Facebook groups. So she lost weight since you were with her? She's a gang member and has killed people. Lol. Edit. I'm still a bartender. 3 years after we broke up she was in the army. Doing well for herself. And got married. After getting pregnant her husband shot her twice and then himself. They are in the Nevada desert. Oh. I decided to have his child. Marry him. And buy a house with him. Colon. She's married and just had her second kid. Her and her husband have alright careers. But I don't know what they are. OSX offender. Same. Until very recently. Still in our shtty little hometown. Depressed. Working a fast food job and dreaming of being a rock star. Dot. But I checked just now to be sure and turns out he's moved to the city and plays live shows and is being interviewed on fairly legit channels now. Good for you. Man. I'm proposing to her in 13 days. She's a stripper now. Nobody is surprised about that. He was an illegal immigrant and eventually went back to Mexico. We texted back and forth for years. Until one day I got a text back saying I had a wrong number. I was worried that he may have been killed. He lived in Mexico City during the earthquake. Hey it could happen. 
I didn't hear from him for over a year until he texted me again a few months ago. We hope to meet up again when he comes back to the states for a visit. Hopefully for you it'll end up being a bit more than a one night stand. Far away from me. Hopefully they stay that way. I figured if she was dumb enough to have sx with me then she might be dumb enough to marry me ia. 18 years and 3 kids later. It's by far the best con job I've ever pulled off. Honestly they're going really good. Still a good friend of mine. She has an awesome partner, it's a few years since we did anything. So I'm really happy for her. I hope he's dead. Let me go check Facebook. BRB. Edit. Couldn't find him on FB, we were never friends on there. So I searched my hometown's obituaries. Found out that his dad died 6 days after my son was born. That was a weird ride. Last I heard he's in New Mexico and doing well. Happy for the dude. He got out of a shitty household and made things better for himself. They're in prison for fraud. I'm a bit drunk and feeling emotional. So I guess I'll bite. We were both 19. Mormon and closeted gay students at Bayou. We met one night and snuck away to our dorm building's TV room. He wasn't a virgin. But I was and was ready to not be. We haven't kept in touch. Though I will say that he was very sweet and has since joined the military. I will also say that there is nothing more confusing and absolutely beautiful than discovering why you aren't attracted to girls when a cute guy puts his arm around you while watching a movie. SX can be amazing. But I am an adamant believer that there is nothing more intense and thrilling than the moment you first touch someone you really like. Whether it be inching closer on the couch, a hand on the thigh or simple goodnight kiss on the cheek, those first physical gestures are so affirming and wonderfully sensual. My left hand is still with me. We are still friends. He has a beautiful wife and two children. I am the godmother to his firstborn. I attend F his wedding and he will attend mine. He will be my best friend forever. My high school boyfriend data paid me for my first time. I've kept loose tabs on him for 20 years but lost track of him about 5 years ago. 2 months ago. I agreed to go to a bar to watch my friend sing karaoke. Which I almost never do. And his brother is there. He recognized me and agreed not to tell his brother that he saw me. Turns out. The guy is divorced after raising another man's kid for 18 years and he had a motorcycle accident. Which took one of his legs. Now he lives just a few blocks from me with his brother. But doesn't leave the house. He's a really bitter guy whose whole life went to shti. Sometimes people get what they deserve after all. We broke up. She went to Harvard and I went to local community college. Colon. Non-existent I still a virgin. Don't stress it. It happens when it happens. She works in the hospital kitchen. In Cheyenne. With my mother. We broke up and she moved back to Japan. We didn't speak to each other for the next 15 years. When out of the blue I get a message on Facebook from her. Asking me if I remembered her. Of course I did. I told her. She was coming to the US for a friend's wedding and wondered if I would want to see her. Long story short. I picked her up from the airport and she never made it to her friend's wedding. We have been married for 7 years now. I was extremely lucky to meet her again. Funny story. He was my first boyfriend and I was almost 15. He was 18. He took my virginity. Then broke up with me a week and a half later and went out with my best friend for the next few years. We stayed friends. I was married a couple of times. Had a couple of kids. Got divorced and now I'm in my 40s. He never married or had kids and is now a truck driver. He's happy and loving his life. We're the best of friends and talk all the time. We even know each other's families. It's strange. He's the only guy I trust besides my father. Always has my back and I have his. We have a motorcycle trip planned for this June and I can't wait. Edited to add. He's had some shorter relationships throughout the years but his choice in women as an adult has been. 
questionable so he's chosen to stay alone due to drama. I don't blame him. I was really good friends with one of them who was a good girl back in our 20s. I was sad to see her go. Married to me Al. Can I just say s all assault of any kind does not count for this empower yourself. He married his next girlfriend on the date we set. Married to me. Poor girl. I married him I. She died. Brain aneurysm. Married to her after 8 years dating. She died of a coke overdose a few years ago. I hadn't spoken to her in years and really didn't know how to feel for a solid month. However, and I had never previously believed in things like this, she came to me in a dream the night she died. Dressed in all white. Glowing. She was next to an old friend of mine. Who was actually struggling mightily with her death because they were super close. I messaged him the next morning to tell him about the dream. And he told me it actually saved his life. He and I are still close to this day. I've never had another dream that felt anything like that. I'm 100% she visited me. He entered university. Had to reset 2 years due to becoming addicted to weed and having his priorities completely wrong and then failed his final year. Now as far as I'm aware he still lives with his parents working part time at a bar. Last time we spoke he seemed to be getting into the MGTOW crowd and he then blocked me on everything after I went on a Tinder date. Me and him were only friends at that point and hadn't dated for 5 years. Must say I regret that one but I was young. Dunno. It was some Welsh bird. Never got her name. She's probably out there remembering how bad I was. Dead. He died 8 years ago in a motorcycle accident. 120 miles per hour through a fence. I assume baptizing others. Whoa WTF. I heard she lives in a trailer with her mom and one of her husbands. On her way home from work. Sleeping next to me right now. Our dog is snuggled in his back. And our unborn baby is kicking me hard in the stomach. It would be peaceful if it didn't feel so uncomfortable. She cheated on me. Then a year later was caught with a married preacher who was twice her age. Wrecked the home. And now they're married. She has a stepdaughter a year older than her. Oh. And she dropped out of her religious university. So now they both work at a coffee shop. I broke up with her and she started dating a friend of mine from high school soon after. For what it's worth. They didn't meet each other through me. He went to university in her hometown and they just wound up meeting at a party. They got married and had a couple kids together. I think she's a nurse now. She was sweet. Stubborn. And a bit boring. And is probably still all of those things with someone who appreciates her in all the ways that I didn't. She is next me to watching a Christmas movie because we are married. He's doing great. Has a good job. Just got a nice apartment. In great health too. Everyone he meets likes him. And he's got support from friends and family. Must be nice to traumatize someone and have it all swept under the rug cause everyone likes you and no one believes what he did. I don't know where he is currently in life. Last I heard from about 5 years ago. He has fathered a child with some girl he is no longer with. And has finished transforming into full trailer trash. The last time I saw him I thought yeesh. I found him attractive. I wow. Instant shame. I ate him. This post was made by arachnid gang. I don't know or care. I have him blocked on all social media since for very good reasons. We got married 40 years ago when I was 19. Best decision of my life. He's my soulmate and my best friend. Right but he's sleeping next to our grandson while I sit here watching our granddaughter. Their parents had a party to go to. Love our life. Not great. We broke up when he told me he had enrolled in college courses and hadn't. He was just working part time for about minimum wage and smoking pot with his friends. He proceeded to do that for the next 15 years or so. I believe he is married now. 
but it's mostly because his wife is a government employee and gets good benefits so now he gets them too.